How's it going everyone and welcome back to Tech Fortress, the YouTube channel where I help fix your tech related problems and help educate you on the latest tech and more. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own YouTube subscribe animation in iMovie and only using free apps on your iPhone. So this, this tutorial is a little bit hard to follow. It has quite a few steps, so make sure you pay attention and keep up. As always guys, if you're new here, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on this video as well as um, head down below and hit that subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications. That's, that'd be awesome. And all right, let's get into the video. All right, so first things first, you're gonna to need to go to this uh, Google Drive link that I'll have in the description. So you just wanna click on it and it'll take you to either um, open it in Safari or it'll open in the Google Drive app if you have it installed. It'll be pretty similar either way how I do this. So I'm just going to click on the link here and it'll take me to a Google Drive app. And that's going to open up the animation subscribe button. So that's just a simple subscribe and then click on the notification bell. And you want to click on the three dots up there and click send a copy. And now you just want to go and click save video and it should export to your camera roll. Now you've got that. All right, so now you want to head over to iMovie and you want to open up a new movie project. You just want to head back to videos and you want to drop in the most, most recent one you've got there, that one. The, um, the, the subscribe animation. And now, as you can see here, it doesn't fully fill up the 1920 by 1080 um, box there. And we want it to fill up the whole um, frame so that when you put it into your YouTube video, it doesn't look weird. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot the color here so we get nice so it doesn't look different when we overlay it onto uh, another image. So what we're doing now is I'm going to screenshot that. And now I'm going to head over to this app called Fonto. It's kind of similar to Photoshop, a lot more basic. What you need to do is uh, click the camera at the bottom and then click plain image, Just click on one of the images and up the top there where it says the dimensions of the image, you change that, click on it and change it to custom. So what you need to do is now change it to 1920 by 1080. Now you've done that up the top right where the share button is, you click use. Now you need to open up add image on the side there and then you need to open up the color that you picked and so now you just need to click on it and change its size to the same size as the background you got there. So once you've done that, you now need to click the share button down the bottom right and then click save image. Save successfully and now we just need to head over to iMovie and we're going to go back into the same project we were working in before going to click edit and we're going to delete that and we're just going to open up the photo of the um, white background and we're going to go back to photos and go videos and we're going to um, open up our subscribe animation there and we're just going to open it up as a um, Picture in picture. Oh, that wasn't. I was green screen, but we're gonna we do that again. We're gonna click on it and then click the three lines and then go picture in picture, and it should drop it over, overlay it over the um, white image. So what you need to do now is the magnifying glass in the top right there. You need to pinch and zoom until you have the subscribe or the animation in the right spot, fitting in that frame there. All right. So I just got to pinch and zoom it to the right spot. Uh, that looks pretty good. And now what I need to do is I just need to crop the plain image underneath to be the same size as my um, animation. All right, just cropping it. All right, nice. So now I'm going to crop it a little bit more because um, there's a little bit at the end there I don't like. There's something wrong with it. And I'm just going to crop that a little bit more. And that's pretty good. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click done and then I'm gonna click the share at the bottom middle and I'm gonna save video. Oh. I'm gonna save video and I'm gonna save it as um, 1080p. It's so gonna export movie and now what we're gonna do now, so we're just gonna quickly delete everything in there and we're gonna open that up. I'm gonna open it back up. Uh, as you can see, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna head over to Fonto again, and we're gonna create. We're gonna create what we're gonna add in with our, our logo and text. So I'm gonna create a plain image, and then with that plain image, I'm gonna change its color. So I'm gonna bring the red down to zero and blue down to zero to get this green screen perfect green, and I'm gonna change its image size to. 1920 by 1080 Once I've done that, I'm just going to share it and use it and now I'm going to click add image and I'm going to add a PNG of my logo As you can see that I've got there and what you need to do is you where you put it in um, Fonto is where it's going to position in iMovie so you want to make sure that way you've, where you've put it all aligns with your animation. So that's what I'm checking here. All right, that well, should be all right. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to tap on the background and click add text. And I'm just gonna add the tech fortress. And to change its color, what you gotta do is tap on the text and click style and you can change it to any of the colors there. And you can also change its font by clicking on the font there. So I'm just gonna pick a nice font. That looks pretty good. Let's just make sure we get it all aligned and everything here and that should be good. Now we're just going to click share and save image. Now we're going to head back over to iMovie. And in iMovie, we're now going to click the plus video, no, photos. I'm just going to click all and then I'm going to click the three dots on the image and go green slash blue screen. And now as it overlays over the top, we get our Tech Fortress logo and text there with our animation on the right. And that's pretty good. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and find some sound, free sound effects online, like a click and a bing. But um, I'll leave that to another tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna share and export the movie. And now I'm gonna show you how you can use this. So I'm just gonna grab a clip here, some drone footage, and I'm just gonna do a split, and then I'm gonna add in my Tech Fortress subscribe animation, and I'm gonna dissolve it. And then as you can see, it dissolves into the subscribe animation. And that's pretty good. All right, guys, I'd just like to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Um, if you know anyone that might found this helpful, make sure you share it to them. And as always, go ahead and leave a like on this video. As well as if you're new here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to Tech Fortress, as well as turning on post notifications. And as always, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.